carry these myths. And it is a true story. And he brought these myths to the Anna Templeton Center in St. John's one day and said, Christine, can you dare my mittens? They're really worn out. And I said, wow, why can't you want a new pair of mittens? He said, no, these mittens are very special. So he said, this is a true story. Strange things happen in this land, but no stranger than the voyage of Michael Flaherty's mitts. Mm -hmm. Michael Flaherty is a talented ceramist whose work has been shown in prestigious galleries throughout the land. Michael owns a pair of very well-worn trigger mitts. They have been darned many times by numerous individuals, but still have lots of wear left in them. Michael knows a thing of value when he sees it, and he treasures his trigger mitts. His hands are very hard working, and so are these mitts. Michael was working on a beach one day, it was in Trinity Bay, actually by Burgoyne's Cove, and he laid his mitts down. He was so engrossed in the task at hand that he hadn't noticed the tide coming in. When he reached for his mitts, they had bobbed out to sea on a wave. Because you know how wool floats sometimes when really saturated. A couple of days later, he was working farther up the coast, much farther than any seafaring mitten should go, when there amongst the rocks and seaweed, he spotted his very own mitts. They had not drowned or drifted their separate ways as some human couples do, but had washed ashore together. And to think it was Michael himself who found them, what were the chances? 